Hello? Wake up and do the video. Okay, love you, Mom. You know what helps you stay up a six game win streak? It's like having an extra large coffee and energy drink and a kick in the keister all at once. Leafs win 5-2 over the Colorado Avalanche and in doing so have a six game winning streak for the first time in time. If I'm not mistaken, I was in high school. Hi, high school me? It's actually uh, you from 2014. Huh, what was that? Sorry, I was playing that Keisha Shante song too loud. What'd you say? So anyway, uh, you work at CBC in the future, so that's neat. No way! Oh, that's so cool! Do you get to, like, cover all their playoff games and stuff? What? You see the thing? Remember JSO Ban? I remember JSO Ban. So the game. Phil Kessel rules. Remember when people said Phil Kessel's contract extension was dumb? Well, I hate to use harsh words, but those people can fly a kite. And JVR pots another one, makes it 2 nothing, becoming the second Leaf on the Leafs. Second Leaf on the Leafs. That's the sort of thing you say when you're tired. Becomes the second Leaf to hit the 20 goal plateau behind Philip J. Kessel. Is it J? It is now. Nazem Kadri tips in a Jake Gardner shot. Nazem, staying hot. And all of a sudden, the Leafs are up 3 nothing, and Simeon Varlamov Pull for guess who? J.S. Jigal. The second former Leaf goalie with the name J.S. that has been brought up so far this video. And you know what? We kind of ripped J.S. Jigal in Toronto. Maybe unfair. First of all, kind of getting up there. Second, he was on a terrible team. And third, he really helped groom James Reimer into the goalie that he is today. And also consider this. Looking at all the goalies that the Leafs have had since their last six game winning streak, uh, J.S. Jigal is doing okay. Did you know that last season all three of J.S. So Ben, Justin Pogge, and Andrew Raycroft played in the Italian League? Yeah. At least J.S. Jaguar is playing a backup role in the NHL still. On a team that's looking like they're going to make the playoffs, or at very least compete. Speaking of playoffs, I will get to that. Remind me. You can't. Okay, I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry. Philip J. with his second of the game. Just, ah, caliente. And the Leafs are up 4 nothing. Foot immediately off the gas. Stop doing that. Even before it was 4 nothing, I would say beginning of the second period, maybe first two and a half minutes, Leafs are up 2-0, Reimer had to bail out the team big time. Avs with a big flurry, a whole bunch of shots, it could have easily been a one goal game right there. And how one thing changes the other, puck goes the other way, the Leafs score, Varlamov's night is done, and so is the game. That's the game winner. But you know, the first or second goal could have been the game winner with a little more gusto. The Gardner giveaway on the 4-2 goal, Dude, horrible. He would have been better off just turning the puck over in the neutral zone. But, again, again, this is what I wanted. This is what I called for, isn't it? The Leafs defense have looked like a tire fire all season long, and I said, you know what, if you're gonna be any fire, make it fire wagon hockey. The top six is good, but just as importantly, the defense are almost all offensively gifted. Just give her, throw every puck you have at the opponent's net. Defensive specialist, more like press box specialist. Let's score some goals. And if you play that way, you're gonna stink sometimes. And that's fine, I like life. But let's talk about it. How much better have the Leafs defense been over the last, uh, on this winning streak? Franzen looked great in the first period, lost at times throughout the game, but he looked great in the first and generated a lot of offense. Gunnarsson got a goal. Gardner's made a couple pretty egregious mistakes, but he's also helped generate a bunch of offense. Enough with a couple assists, including that horseshoe up his ass bank pass to Phil Castle. Come on, you meant to do that, yeah? That's what he said after the game, and I would have said that too. And then I would have took the reporter's microphone and spiked it like a football, did a victory dance. Make Richard Sherman seem all shy and reserved. I'm the best captain in the league! But all in all, Jay McClement scores the empty netter. Leafs fifth goal, they win 5-2, they hold on. James Reimer has a great game. Defense continues to play well. But I have a question. How is it that Dion Phaneuf and the Leafs, and the Leafs defense are playing well when Dion Phaneuf wears a Red Bull hat. What poor leadership! Did you read that article earlier this week or whatever? I believe it was by Dave Festchuk, but he got a quote from Richard Petty, who you may know as the former top boss of the Maple Leafs, basically talking about why Phaneuf shouldn't wear his Red Bull hat because of reasons. And I like Richard Petty's tweets. He's actually a really good follow on Twitter. But all I can think of while reading that is, see, this is why the Leafs sucked for so long. This team's struggling and we really want to take the next step. What should we do? I don't like the captain's hat. That's the kind of thing that gets things done around here. And that brings 
brings me to the question of the game. Obviously defense is a big topic in this video, so you're more than welcome to talk about that in the comment box, but I want to know this. What is the craziest thing you've ever heard involving the Leafs? Not something that necessarily made you go, wow, but something that made you go, friggin' really? Such as, you know, Dion's got to ditch the hat. Roger Nielsen having to wear a paper bag on his head was a pretty big one. All you young kids out there, you should Google that. If you just type in Roger Nielsen paper bag, I, I don't think Google's going to confuse that. You'll go to the right place. That is what I'm thinking. Oh, baby. One last thing. That, that's two fingers. One, one last two things. One is I need to learn how to count. Two, I haven't really paid close attention to it lately, but the Leafs are well in a playoff spot. They're tied with Montreal for third in their division, although Montreal has the tiebreaker, so the Leafs have the top wild card spot, which is nice because the Leafs have 59 points five more than the second team in the wild card, Columbus, who has 54. Although Columbus has played, I think, three fewer games. But let's pretend everyone had the exact same amount of games played and the season ended today. What would the playoffs look like? A lot of people have asked me the playoff format, and to be honest, I, I didn't know, so that's why I didn't answer you. It's amazing that you can do that as an adult, but not as a student. Something's written on the exam that you don't know. That's a good question. Tell you what, I'm gonna get back to you. So here's how it works. There are two divisions in the East and two divisions in the West. To keep it nice and simple, let's just focus on the East. Now these new divisions, three teams make it from each division, guaranteed. So right now that's Boston, then Tampa, then Montreal, and the Leafs division. In the other division, right now, it's Pittsburgh, then New York, then Philly. Then there are two wild card spots for the next highest team outside of their division's top three. It doesn't matter what division you're from, you can get a wild card spot. So for example, let's pretend the Leafs stay in the top wild card spot and Ottawa snags the other one. You can have five teams from the same division versus three. And the other division can kick rocks because they suck. Here's how the formatting works. The division leader with the most points takes on the wild card team with the least. So right now, the division leader with the most points in the East is the Penguins because they have more points than the Bruins. So if the playoffs started tomorrow, the Pittsburgh Penguins would play the Columbus Blue Jackets in the first round. The other division leader, which is Boston, would take on the top wild card team, which is the Leafs. So if the playoffs started tomorrow, the um, the Leafs the Leafs would play the Bruins. Secondary question of the game, how do you feel about that? They're pretty you know, pretty good, pretty confident. Then the second and third seeds in their respective divisions battle it out. So the Habs would play the Lightning in the first round. That's a pretty good series. And of course, Philly, New York. So it's a little bit more confusing than it was before, but it makes sense. You like it? Honestly, be honest. That's it for this video. It is 3.30 in the morning. By the time you see this, it'll be much later. Uh, can't wait to go home. The Olympics are coming up very soon. There's a lot of necessary work that has to be done, so I've, I've been happy to do it. And I've been happy to make these leap videos after the shifts, but I'm a big fan of my bed. Click like if you like this video, click subscribe if you really liked it. Check out the last video, because that was only like 24 hours ago, and the Leafs won that one too, and I will see you next time. Let's see how long this streak lasts. Go out for a rip.